right? So if he has a knife, address the immediate danger, doesn't matter. Address the immediate danger, violently counterattack, and get away. Uh, what should I do if he pulls out a knife? Run, run. Run, yes, that's always. Evacuate the danger zone, right? Three things in a fight, escape routes, weapons of opportunity, and barriers, right? So he's charging at me with a knife. Right, I want to run and get out. As he comes to me, I want a barrier. Right, something between me and him. I also escape route. So this, this is my facsimile of a door. But as he's coming, I want to get out. Right, so escape routes. He pulls a knife. I want to arm myself with a weapon. Uh, simple question. Which one would you prefer versus a knife? Stick, Stick or knife? Stick. Why? Longer range. This Longer is. range. Longer range, yes. Because if I can stab him, he can. Go ahead and stab me. If I can stab him, I mean, my body is here. What are you doing? Good. I'm coming. Come here. Come here. I'm just saying. Just, just, yeah, you're good. No, but you're a bad guy. No, oh. You're not a smart guy. Okay, right? okay, okay. Right? If I stab you, you can stab me. Right? So I don't want to do that. It's better if he has a knife to arm himself with a stick. You're good. It's better to arm myself with a stick. Because as he's charging me, I can establish range. Okay? Yeah. As he comes to me, I can post out. Go ahead and drive to me. Be careful, this is pushing into you. But yeah, as you come to me, go ahead and like, charge me. Come charge me. Now he's charging me. Boom. I can use this to keep my distance. Now here's what you don't want to do with the stick. If he's charging me, just keep coming at me. Don't stop. You hit him this way, the, bo the motion keeps coming at you. If he's charging me, you're charging so soft. Come faster, charge me. All right, no, yeah. I don't know. Boom, and see how that collapses into me. But if he's charging me, and I do this, as you push to me, put, just drive into me, it's gonna push me back, and that's how I maintain range. He's pushing me when I post out, right? So the best thing to do is post to maintain distance, then as he comes to swing, defend, right? But to maintain distance, I'm going to post or thrust. But just think of it more as a post, because I'm maintaining, just swing at the air like you're trying to cut me. Cut my face, cut it up, right? That's gonna maintain where he can't cut me, then I can defend. Boom, but what I don't wanna do is just keep it here, because eventually he's gonna get the idea to cut that. So I wanna go boom, boom, Maintain that distance. Now, if he's not charging, bang, I can get that hit to the head. But again, our primary is defang the snake, right? As he's coming, I want to maintain that range. Boom, oh, defang. A little too hard, is it? It's padded, so yeah, that's cool. That's the point. But I want to maintain range, defang. Maintain range, defang, right? Improvised weapons. Please put that down where it was and don't play with it. Don't mess with it, it was fine. All right, all right, so if you're in a restaurant, some guy starts charging you, what weapons, improvised weapons, can you find? Bottles, plates, silverware. Chairs, grab me a chair and bring it to me. Let me show you the right way to use a chair defensively. Keep that knife, just stay right here, he's bringing me a chair. Distance. Well, so my non-dominant hand. I have a shield, right? So if you're coming at me, swing wide, I have that shield there. I've got these, be careful because I don't want to ram you with these, be right. careful with this. Yeah. I can bang. Now, let's kind of move over towards the wall right here. Don't lean too much into this, but kind of lean against this. Right, I can pin him with this, right? So, but you don't want this in your dominant hand because when it, because I want to have the ability when he's trying to stab me and say I got him pinned up, I want to have the ability to try to control, right? So we put this in our non-dominant, so I'm attacking with the legs of my chair. He's swinging at me, I block with the back, right? I've got this as a defensive tool. So if I'm sitting in a restaurant and this guy starts coming at me, I want to go like this. I'm trying to make sure I'm on camera. But yeah, let me, I'm gonna sit right here. So, when you step to your chair, you guys watch me, watch me. 
when I step to my chair, I'm going to go non-dominant side up. So the way that I grab the chair is that the hand that's non-dominant goes to the seat as I step behind and have that as my shield. And then I have the ability to use this as a shield to maintain that distance. And we can do destructions. Just go slow. I don't want to go with a wide shot. I can go bang and hit him. Just like I do destructions with the elbow, it's a little harder target, so I would aim for the meat in here. But I can try to hit him here, ram it into his face, or when he's swinging, use that as my shield. Right? So the chair is definitely one of them. All right, what's another one? In a restaurant, what kind of improvised weapons did you find? Silverware. Uh, ooh, that's great. Can, that bottle. Bring me that bottle right there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, drink it all. <laughs> so does it make a mess? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I'm sitting down. What do I have? Beer. Well, I mean, yeah, a beer, a drink. This is a Fanta. I won't go upside down because the, the juices will come out. But you can arm yourself with this. Uh, okay, so drinks. Can a paper cup be a weapon? A paper cup with a lid on it, can it be a weapon? It's an insect. Huh? <laughs> Try to get an insect. No, can, can it be a weapon? You can make it. It's weapon. full of water, yeah. and I throw it so, uh, so that it hits and there's water in your face. You as it goes, whoosh, the water shoots up. Right. Then, uh, as he's dealing with that, boom, I can. Let's come on the camera. You're ready, guys. Right, as he throws, as I throw it in his face, he's dealing with that in the face. I'm just going to come into my tie-up and try to control this so he can't stab me. Right, but while he's distracted, we don't have any paper cups and that's fine, but I throw it, I want to throw it so that the water shoots into his face. So I throw boom. While he's dealing with that, then I'm going to dive in. Come back in the camera so you can see where I'm grabbing. As I throw it up, I'm gonna go wrist, grabbing behind, shoulder and head. Make sure we're in camera. I wanna make sure that my head and shoulder, I can control it here. The disarm is to come here through the thumb. Give him a vasectomy. Boom, boom. Right, so if I have a paper cup, the water becomes a distraction, and then I'm going for the weapon, tying it up. Much like a wrestler, I want to keep this tight so there's not a lot of room. The disarm, I'm coming this way through the thumb. Remember, the exit is through the thumb. He wanted a vasectomy because he's fucking with me today, and I ain't playing with him. Right. And then a technique of grabbing it from his hand to get it out of the thumb. So I'm here. Let's move this way. So you can see this on camera. Right? I'm here. My hand goes palm to palm. Grab the uh, right above the hilt. Pry it out through the thumb. Give him his vasectomy he came for. Right. And so throw a slash, throw a slash until he's done bleeding out. Right? So, he's here, and I throw that water, he's distracted. I'm just gonna dive in, tie this up. This is a modified inside two-on-one. I'm here, I, I wanna be aware of this hand, and I spread it out so he can't reach around and grab his knife. If I go this way, grab the knife. Now put it back in your hand. Say, I don't want that. Go and put it back in the other hand. Give me this in the other hand. Now go for it. Right, yeah. So here's the thing. When I got a control, I want to make sure he can't. If I go like this, just reach around and grab the knife. And I'm done. I'm done. Right? So what I want to do is string him out. String him out so he can't get around me. Right? And then if he goes under, I shoot it up. Come through my disarm. Previous to me today. Okay. Uh, 
Come here so he can see. So yeah, I have my water cut, boom, I just throw it, so boom, and then I'm diving to come in. Notice, my weight is here, and I give gravity, right? Always, if you're grabbing a knife, give gravity. So he's fighting gravity. If I just go out here, it's muscle to muscle. I do this, now I have gravity on my side, which gives me time. Always, you know, if you're a smaller person, use gravity. Anytime I clinch, I go down. And this is gonna put his shoulder to my ear. Now I'm here and I'm tied up. And then I come to my prepositionally cut, insert, slash, insert. This hand comes at me, insert, slash. This hand comes at me, boom. Everything that comes in gets insert, slash, insert, slash. We go thrust, slash, thrust, slash. Whatever's coming at me, I'm gonna go thrust, slash, thrust, slash. He's getting cut up here. Eventually those stop coming up, and then I'm going boom, boom, boom. Pay attention to what I'm doing. When I thrust and slash at the neck. You're coming back as well. What am I doing? Grab what is this hand doing? No, yeah, so if I thrust and slash, what's happening right now? If I don't cover that, what's coming out? What? <laughs> so cover, thrust, slash, cover. Because I don't want AIDS. I don't want some bloodborne pathogen. So if I do this, cover, so that that's not pouring into your face. Last thing you need in the fight is to be blinded by the guy's blood, yeah? Mm -hmm. Or to get a transmissible disease, right? So. If I just have a cup, throw it at him. While he's dealing with that, get into your tiny. Get your disarm, provide your medical procedure. You've saved the planet, because he's not procreating anymore. No more kids for dumb people, <laughs> right? We're, we're helping population control. Stupid people get stupid rewards. If he had a kid, well, now he's his only kid no more, because he was dumb, he brought a knife to the, to the fight. Right, okay, so chair, bottle, cup with liquids. Change in my pocket, keys in my pocket, throwing something in the face. Even if all I have is a, the menu and I'm throwing the menu at his face so that he's going like that, that's your moment to charge in and grab that weapon. Because the U-drill, I have to get in, he has to try to cut me for me to start doing the U-drill. Right, I really don't want to do that. The U drill is like I'm stuck here and I've got to, you know, but I want to get to a tight position. I don't want to do the U drill all day. It's not how you fight. It's just a first response. If he goes to stab me, boom, I need to have some kind of response so the blade isn't going in my body. I don't want to be a pin cushion. But once that happens, I should transition to the control position quickly, get the weapon away. You know, medical procedures. <laughs> All right, so chair, water bottle, broken bottle, water, objects. What's another improvised weapon that you can have in a restaurant setting? I'll bowl of soup for. I'll bowl of soup. Okay, so we've done, so projectile weapons, a chair. Uh, House salad. House salad. I mean, you have knives and forks that you use to eat with, right? Skewer sticks. Skewer, but knives and forks, right? Like, I mean, I'm eating with a knife. Even a butter knife is useful. Chopsticks. Uh, if you have access to the kitchen, you can have access to brooms, mm -hmm. dust pans, pans, knives, right? Uh, okay, here's a question. Talk, talking about situational awareness. Where should you sit in a restaurant for safety? Back against the wall. <laughs> okay, back against the wall. Which wall and why? Rear wall, watch the front door. Okay, well where's your exit? Where are you getting out? Back door. Okay, but where's the back door near you? Are you just in the back corner where you're no exits? Or are you, where are you at? Usually the back door is by the restaurants. Or, or the dining room, or the dining room. Sometimes, you know, like the, the all, all, all um, 
All kitchens have to have an exit to the, for the trash because they don't walk. They, most places aren't going to walk the way you eat with trash cans. No. So if there's a kitchen, there's an exit. So, you know, and a lot of times when there's bathrooms are there's exits, but there's always an exit where there's a kitchen. Well, what do you have in the kitchen? Weapons, weapons. right? Escape routes, weapons of opportunity. You're sitting on one, you have ones on your table, right? Knife, fork, a fork, stab somebody in the eye. You can, you know, uh, um, a fork is still, I mean, um, I'll take this. I, I, yeah, I can still stab with the, ed the edge of it, and I can rake with it, right? So a knife, is, I mean, a fork is good. Butter knives, thrusting that in through, it's still going to pierce if I'm thrusting into the throat. Thrusting with the knife is, you know, going to penetrate. You, in a restaurant, you should sit nearest the door, closest to the kitchen. Because that's the quickest place to e weapons and exits. Uh, just sitting in a back corner, if the bad guys came in both doors, where the fuck are you going? Right? You don't want to be in a back corner. You want to be north, near the low population exit. Okay, so there's been some mass shootings that happened in theaters. And people have gotten stomped to death because everybody goes out one exit. People don't go out the green exit sign. People go out the door they came in. That's the, that's the problem is people are instinctual and under pressure. People don't do the smart thing. You have a sign that says exit. Those are your emergency exits. But everybody goes piling out the door that came in. People fall down and get trampled on. And that's how people die. So you go out the low population exit. Because everybody's going to go in the door. 80% of people are sheep. 20% think for themselves. You know. And a lot of things play that out. Most people are dumb and just do what they, you know, everybody else is doing. It's herd mentality. Most people are going to cram out. That's why people get trampled on when they're exiting. Low population exit. Employee exit. Emergency exit. But always, wherever you sit, make sure you know the exits. Make sure you're near an exit. Because um, if somebody comes in mass shooting and you're on a back wall, you have no exit. You want to make sure you have quick access to escape routes, weapons of opportunity, and barriers. If somebody's shooting, right, the priority is run, hide, fight. I like to say escape, barricade, defend. Uh, escape, I need to get away, no matter how I get away. Barricade, I don't want to just hide. I want to barricade myself in so the person that's doing a mass shooting can't hit me, right? And defend, because you really need to have that mindset that you're, you're, it's defensive. But once you go, you've got to go Cobra Kai. Strike hard, strike fast, no mercy. Right? In a self-defense situation. Right? So what exit do we go to? Least population. Least population. Kitchens where there's weapons of opportunity. And yeah, that's your best bet. There's always an exit near the kitchen.